Good morning. Welcome to my Monday reset vlog. It's not even gonna be Monday reset. It just made that up in my head, but it is Monday. I need to go grocery shopping. I need to get some cat litter. You know, start a new week. It's just like a new week in general is always a good time to reset, I guess. So that's what we're gonna do. I just did my skincare. I did some self tanner last night using Copari's new self tanner, but I did a whole video on that, which should be up sometime either before or after this. Check that out if you guys love self tanner and let's get the day started i'm gonna start by making the bed if you've never seen any of my videos before yes we do live in an rv because two years ago we decided to sell our house and move in here full time and do some traveling before we really laid down our roots for our next home because we thought you know now's like kind of like the perfect opportunity to do that and we bought some land and we're in the process of building we haven't really started yet that's why i didn't share anything about that but it is going to be a long process because it's a huge project for my husband, for us, like mentally, financially, it's gonna be a massive project. I don't love, 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 love that it's gonna take a little bit longer because that just means, I don't know how long we're gonna live here. I didn't, my, my brain didn't really like think that far ahead because it's already been two years, but I'm trying not to complain. Like I don't want the sea sound to come off like I'm complaining. Everybody has different chapters in their lives. This is our chapter, but I did want to say, it's a little tough. I think especially around the holidays, I see like so many people decorating their beautiful homes and, I'm, and I'll go back to like my house when I was decorating it for Christmas and I'm like, I miss it so much. Why did we do this? But I know that this is like not forever. And we're literally, you know, hopefully gonna be building a house. I say hopefully, cause you know, anything can happen. I do try to keep this place super, homey and at least looking like a home like what i would decorate my own home add little knickknacks like that just to make it all nice and cute okay i'm using the letta bourbon brulee it's a caramelly boozy spicy warm scent it's very hard to describe because if i describe it you might think of it a certain way but then you smell it and you're like okay this is nothing like what you described it as but it is like caramelly a little bit of boozy a little bit of spice a little bit of sweet it's like a sophisticated by the bonfire late night chateau on the lake evening sipping your whatever by the fire outside that kind of vibe my daughter once it settled down said it smelled like play-doh she also said my self tan smells like ramen noodles and i feel like she was kind of right about that so i don't know do with that information what you will i'm having a full-on burgundy moment today this sweatsuit is from amazon from hanes i believe the top sold separate from the bottom. I kind of did like a mini Amazon video and mentioned it there. This first actor from Amazon as well. So totally I forgot. But yeah, we're like full blown burgundy and I'm gonna wear my little bear paw warm cozy sandals. 55 degrees outside, but I actually love it. Like I love how cold it is because I live for the colder weather, you guys. Below 55 is like a little extreme for me, but like chilly weather like this where I can bundle up and wear sweaters and stuff. Yes, please, but I'm gonna go to LD and then I have to make a return. We're doing my dad's 80th birthday. He's gonna be eight years old in a couple weeks. And we're gathering all the siblings, his siblings that live in South Carolina. We're doing like a little, a little party for him. And I saw this cute idea on Pinterest. If somebody took like a bunch of candles and tied it with a ribbon. So I was like, oh, that's so cool. Let me try that. So I got these beeswax candles, but this is a hundred candles. So 80 candles, the tower is going to be like this tiny. So I'm going to return these and instead I'm going to buy where I already bought like, you know, like the church Christmas Eve candles where they have the Christmas Eve service. I don't know if they're going to be way too big, but I think the first thing I'm going to do is grab a latte. There's a local coffee shop that is on the way. I made it to the coffee shop. The battery's dying unfortunately, so I might use my phone for any further content, but this whole downtown is so cute. I love small town main streets. I fall in love with them. They're so homey, especially for the Christmas season. They decorate the whole main street. It's like the cutest thing ever. Mm -hmm. How cute is this? All right, ready? I got the coffee, so the regular coffee and some creamer. I got a regular coffee, like I said. Just wanted, because I don't really make coffee at home. It's always espresso. Sometimes you just want to get a cup of coffee. This was kind of like self-serve where you had, like you know the weddings, you have like the coffee, you press it down and the coffee comes out. This is kind of what that was. I arrived to Beals. It's like a local department store here. It's kind of like TJ Maxx, Ross, but the fines are definitely not as good as TJ Maxx for sure. I haven't been to Target and TJ Maxx in like a good solid year. 
since maybe two years even just because like there's none here the closest one is in astral and then the hurricane came and destroyed everything i don't know right now if you could get access there i think right now you can so i might make a trip out there for the holidays to see i'm trying to like see little knickknacks i can find for kids stocking stuffers and stuff so this is like a perfect place for that for stocking stuffers sometimes you'll find discounted gifts they have like barbie toys and stuff but um the coffee by the way is actually really good <laughs> and the Christmas movie is playing, you guys. I'm obsessed. Thank you. They're so cute. But they're a little too big. This is adorable. I have nowhere to put it, but it's super cute. These are so cute if you're hosting. Oof, oof. No use for them, but they're super cute. This is so cute. Guys, this is so cute. I actually found some cute things at Beals. So today was a successful shopping trip because sometimes it's like a hit or miss. First thing is this gorgeous pillow. This I plan to put on the couch in the middle, and then I'm doing like fluffy white pillows that I already have on the sides and then I have like the gingerbread pillow that I shared about from Walmart and then an ornament pillow that's red but I felt like this was so beautiful this gives me like vintage Christmas vibes and I love the size of it I think it's such a beautiful pillow find I love anything that's like old Christmas vibes from like the 90s I feel like Christmas just it's not the same anymore anywho moving on I also found these cuties I'm doing a lot of bows I'm doing all red tons of bows everywhere so this is very on theme I got some clothes for my son he needed some shirts my daughter really wanted sneakers so of course she picked out these right here wait does this one not light up I don't think this one lights up like one of them is broken oh well whatever I'm not gonna go back and it is what it is we got a poopery spray bourbon brulee which Poopery spray is always good to have. And then this right here, this is actually my second time buying this. This is so beautiful. It is a hand soap. I have one that I'm going to put in the bathroom. I haven't started it yet. Oh no, this one's missing the little ornament. Oh my gosh, all my stuff today is like yeah. the little ornament that goes here. But that's okay. This is only $4.99. This kind of looks like Mackenzie Child's, but bathroom stuff. So I'm going to put one in the bathroom and then one I'm going to put in the sink in the kitchen because the kids always run in from outside and they always wash their hands and they use the dish soap for that. And we go through the dish soap so fast. So I'm like, let me just get mm -hmm. a hand soap. Yeah, it literally smell like, it just smells like soap. It has like little gold flakes in it. So beautiful. Oh, and then this right here, these cutie little PJs. So I actually got some... I was gonna go to a birthday party. My sister invited me to her friend's birthday. She invited me last minute. I was gonna go, that's why I went to Beals and I picked out this really cute pajama set for her. Plans changed and I figured, you know what? Let me gift it to my sister because I feel like she would love the pajamas. And so I'm gonna keep those and give them to my sister and then I got a matching set for myself. This is from Jessica Simpson line. How stinking cute are these? And it's so soft. So I'm gonna put it in a gift box for my sister. And then I plan to do the Kopari facial tanning serum, that, and then like add in like little knickknacks for her and that's gonna be her Christmas gift. But yep, that's everything that I got. Little mini Christmas shopping trip. Oh my goodness, that's a so cute. I completely forgot to stop by to return candles. It's okay, I have some time. But I didn't forget to stop by Dollar General and get cat litter because that we need, need, need. And they have been had their Christmas stuff for a while now. I got a few stems, which I'll show you when I get home. Like a little red berry stems and stuff that are so cute. And then I just picked up this little Christmas tree. That's so many cute nutcracker things. I just didn't have anywhere to put the stuff that they had, so... I had to hold off, but I thought this was so cute. It's like a little one. They had a bigger one, but this I will definitely, definitely find a place for. Isn't that pretty? I'm back to filming on my camera now that I'm home and I changed the battery. I wanted to say that the sneakers, they actually do light up. My son figured out this little button on the here. It says lights. So the one for one of the shoes was turned off, this one here. So they both work. So that's a win. How beautiful is this wreath here? It's from Walmart. So once my Christmas stuff comes in. I got a little bow from Michael's that I want to share about. I'm going to do like a little haul of all the different pillows I got. That's a little gingerbread one and just share a little mini Christmas haul. But these are the little stems I was talking about from Dollar General. 
I, these are from Walmart actually, I'm gonna put them in the Christmas tree, but these right here, which my cats have been chewing, if you can't tell, which is so bad, I try not to let them, but some of them on the naughty list this year. Yeah, this one's missing. And then also these right here, it's like boxwood or whatever this is with little bits of snow and stuff. I got these frozen cherries at the Russian store, European food store. And instead of using ice, they're the perfect addition to the cherry cola from Olipop. It's one of my favorites from Olipop, that one. And the strawberry vanilla are so good. But I'm gonna sit here and edit a video that needs to go up. And then I wanna roast butternut squash. It's not butternut squash, it's acorn squash. My husband picks them up. And I've never done acorn squash, I don't think. I've done butternut squash. But I'm gonna roast it and do like a sweet version of the recipe I saw in Natasha's kitchen where she does like cinnamon, sugar, salt, maple syrup. I wanna try it out. So my husband didn't know that I wanted to do a special recipe with a butternut or the acorn squash. He was making bread, he does sourdough. So once that was done, he put in the acorn squash. So he just ended up baking it. It wasn't the recipe that I wanted to do. I did sprinkle it with maple syrup, cinnamon, sugar, and I think that's it. Um, so I'm not like crazy about it, but I don't, I don't know, maybe I just gotta like try different recipes, we'll see. But. I did have an H&M order come in, so I ordered these gorgeous dark denim jeans. I've been looking for like a really dark denim. I'm kind of building my denim collection of like staples. And based on the reviews and stuff, I decided to go with a size 4, which is usually my size. Anything that's like a 26 inch waist. So this is the color. Look how stunning this denim is. And then I love how it has almost like copper ish thread throughout so let me go ahead and try on the size four and i just got in the size two i just haven't tried them on yet hopefully they fit i'm just scared the waist is going to be too small for the size two so if i wear it like lower on my hips the waist is literally perfect but then i have like all this oh, this right here and i'm like what the heck is this it's like not here not there i don't know if you can see because the jeans are so dark it's just like doesn't really look that good even if i wear it with a belt it's just i don't know something about it is weird okay i changed my camera setting so you guys can actually see the denim but i don't know if you can see it. it's like it's just like all this loose material here and i don't know I don't, i'm not loving it this is a size two these definitely fit so much better right here there's still like a little bit of crunching but that's i guess just the style of the jeans and these i'm 100 keeping i'm going to be returning the size four and i paid 23 dollars for them with my five dollar coupon and then they had a like 20% off sale, which is such a good deal. I love this color of denim. I think it's so pretty for fall with like a really gorgeous dark brown chocolate sweater or honestly anything else. But yeah, H&M lately has been like my favorite, favorite place to shop. I'm waiting on my good coffee beans to come in. I'm all out of my freshly roasted ones, but I do have like a stash of backup beans that are not as freshly roasted that I keep. And it's good for making pour over. It's actually from the same cafe that I went to this morning. I also got a new syrup for the holidays. My pumpkin is all out. And I kind of like to switch my syrups for some sweet drinks here and there. So I'm trying a new one. This is a pretty good brand, but this is gingerbread, which I can't wait to try this out. But I'll do that in another video. Pour over is another great way to make coffee. I actually got this pour over from Hearth Hand Magnolia. I, mean, I want to say like three years ago. Still serving me well. And these little cuties right here from H&M Home. They kind of look like little Hermes mugs. They're so beautiful. I wish I had the matching plate, but the plate is sold out. So I just got two of these for right now. And I think they're so elegant and pretty. But for my pour over, I ground up some fresh coffee. And then I let it bloom by pouring some hot water over. My kids are doing school. You can hear in the background. But I do a little bit of water over it. Let that bloom for like 30 seconds. And then I pour more water basically to the top. This is a smaller cup, so I'm not gonna overdo it. I finally got the last of my packages for Christmas things. I can tell just by feeling it. But this is the bow that I ordered from Michaels. I originally was gonna use this one here that I got at Walmart, but then I saw this. SMLX Stephanie posted on her stories some things that she got at Michaels, and we don't have one here, so I went online right away. And I'm glad that I did when I did because it is now out of stock. You might be able to find it in store. How cute is this? It's coming off super bright red, but it's actually not as bright red. Do you think it's cute? Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to use this as a tree topper. Oh, my Satchel lip liners came in. These were sent to me. Ooh, a lip elixir. Bunny tongue lip elixir. The first one I'm gonna swatch is Get Ready. And when you swatch it, it comes off a lot darker than it's actually gonna be. And you have to wait like 20 minutes for it to dry. Then we have Plumped. And the last one is Cinnamon, which is like a cinnamony brown, orange brown. Get Ready, Plumped, 
and cinnamon. I'm gonna let that sit for like a good 10 minutes and then I'm gonna peel it off and reveal the shade. Last thing is my coffee beans. I ordered it from Beanbox this time. Last Christmas I actually ordered their 12 days of Christmas thing and right now they have a little bit of a different one where they do I think like five bags that they're gonna send you each week leading up to Christmas sent in like a little cute velvet red velvet Santa bag which I am gonna buy. I have to get on that because before it sells out but I haven't purchased coffee from them in a while. I usually get it from drinktrade.com. I have a coffee subscription but I saw one of the bags on here, like the flavor, and I really wanted to try it out. These just sounded so good. So this is the brand Cloud City Coffee Roasting Co. in Seattle, Washington. Ooh, it says Women in Coffee. So it's probably like woman owned, which I think is amazing. But it is light roast. The tasting notes are chocolate hazelnut, rum raisin, plums, and lemon drops. I can't wait because that sounds so delicious. I'll do a video on that tomorrow. I just took an amazing shower. Felt so nice. After the shower, the swatches are still kind of on there. So this kind of speaks to their lasting power. Like they last a pretty good amount of time. These PJs are so stinking cute. They give off like Victoria's Secret vibes. And the pattern is so cute. It'll work for Christmas and also Valentine's Day. So I can wear these basically until February. I made the kids a quick dinner. I'm actually probably gonna make myself like a matcha or something. Maybe my sleepy time tea because I've been having a really, really hard time sleeping major insomnia actually I have this right here maybe I'll use this sleep spray that I got for my winter box from FabFitFun I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me thank you for hanging out with me and I really hope to see you guys in the next video